Hey, what's up? The Goff here. And yes, I'm wearing a number 10 jersey, not a number 4 jersey. Because I'm just not ready. Red Hey, what's up? You know what I'm doing? I'm calculating how many points the Jets are going to score in the Bengals game after the bye week. And I'm using complicated mathematical algorithms to determine the score. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, Garv, what is an algorithm? Guys, listen, you didn't even know what trigonometry was until I showed you. And if you don't know trig, you'll never learn alg. It's just not going to happen. So trust me when I tell you that algorithms are the mathematical certitude of certain statistics. And there's a lot of different things factored in. Uh, things like the previous week's scores, including that 56-point masterpiece by Brett Garve. I mean Favre. D did I just say Brett Garve? I'm sorry, folks. It was an honest mistake, an easy mistake to make sometimes, you know. Brett and I, when we play, we have a very similar style, you know, in the pocket. Outside the pocket, you can tell the difference, but in the pocket, we're practically twins. But it was Brett Favre's 56-point game that we factored in. And now for the final tally. Guys, do you know how many points the Jets are going to score against the Bengals on Sunday? 211 points! That's a lot of points. But numbers don't lie. Now, I'm going to go look it up, but I don't think that's ever been done before in the NFL. Then again, Brett Favre's never been the Jet quarterback before in the NFL. Guys, we're going to the Super Bowl. Brett Favre. 